Friday on three. Alrighty, uh, stand by. We are about to try and understand bitcoins. Now, I can hear you asking, what even is that? The virtual currency has been in the news lately because a bitcoin exchange has closed down and people can't get their electronic money back. Back. But what the hell is a bitcoin? To help us try and make sense of the world of bitcoins, I'm joined by technology expert Paul Salisbury. Paul, good evening to you. Good evening. What the hell is a bitcoin? Well, I'll start by saying what's a New Zealand dollar, because we often think of that as the coins and notes in our wallet. And actual fact, most of New Zealand dollars are balances in our bank accounts. You know, stored in the bank's database somewhere. That all right, says all right, all right, all right. Money. I know what a New Zealand dollar is, and yeah. I know that I don't keep all of mine in my pocket. But I sure. also know that I can go to get any one of mine whenever I want and turn it into a shirt or a pen or a piece of paper. What is a Bitcoin? Yeah, so Bitcoin exists in more of a global database that stores all of the addresses and the balances there, and it's never in one physical place at any time. So it's there, it's like a global ledger, and you can access your so what funds. Is it? What actually is it? If I've got one mm. Bitcoin, what is it? Yeah, that's purely a balance. It's there saying you do have a balance of one Bitcoin. So which is worth about 600 New Zealand dollars at the moment. Yeah, or you could have a fraction of a Bitcoin. Okay, which would be is this worth in a, a virtual less. bank? It's in a, so it's virtually $600 in a virtual bank. Well, it could be virtually any currency or equivalent amount of gold. It all depends on well, no, it the can't foreign be. exchange. If it was gold, I'd have gold. It's a Bitcoin. So it's $600 kept on a ledger in a virtual bank. There's not a virtual bank per se. Jesus it's Christ. on the internet. So, But it, where on the internet? The internet's a big place. I want to know where my bloody yes. Bitcoin is. Yeah, so it's like a protocol. So there is Skype, email. Jesus. These protocols define the rules for sending... Hang on a second. Does anyone in this studio understand what this man is talking about? No, they don't. So I'm just going to ask you this question. Sure. What is a Bitcoin? Yeah. It really comes down okay, to... Okay, no, never mind. Yeah. Here's the next question. Let's pretend I know the answer to what is a Bitcoin. Okay. How do I turn a Bitcoin into a new pen or a shirt or a jacket or a pair of trousers? Yeah, the easiest way is going to be through e-commerce website that it's selling you a pen, pair of trousers. Okay, I understand right. this. So yeah. I could go to pens.com and I could say I've got a Bitcoin and I want $600 worth of pens. No, you could say what's the price today of a pen? Yeah, I'll give you a fraction of a Bitcoin that's equivalent to the value of the pen. So if I started with just one Bitcoin, I could end up with a pen and almost one Bitcoin. Exactly. It's down to eight decimal places. So at the very least, you could transfer less than a cent's worth of value. Um, at the most, yeah, if you're spending a large quantity right. of Bitcoins, it's Brilliant. worth a lot more. Paul, I understand some of what you've just said. Very quickly, why would I want Bitcoins rather than New Zealand dollars? It's more interesting if you are transacting with an online website or sending money to family in other I countries. I do that on a credit card. You could. There's fees on a credit card. Uh -huh. So there's fewer fees um, with Bitcoin. And it's also very immediate. So you can't process a credit card payment to your family in another country, mm. but you can send them Bitcoins okay. without any... How many between. do you have? I prefer not to say because there is because some you're element... Rich. No, there's an element of financial privacy that is... Um, enabled by Bitcoin, so it would be kind of foolish to come publicly saying how many I do have. You probably don't have any. Um, <laughs> and here's the thing, they were worth more than twice as much as they're worth today because the, the value goes up and down, doesn't it? Sure. And it's, a it's an uncontrolled market. So you better, it's a free I, market. I think it's a free market, completely uncontrolled. I think you need to go onto the website as soon as you leave here. I would be petrified if I had my money in Bitcoins and you need to check it's still there because I reckon someone ran off with it while you were in the studio. <laughs> I do have it in a safe, so that's another form we don't recognise is you can actually have it on a piece of paper. Okay, okay. Or in a safe. Or in a safe. Brilliant. Paul, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sorry if, if, if I was behaving stupidly. I just am stupid. Uh, right. 